Zurkowski looks to switch it. Lovely weight on the pass. Kambiagi's control, not the best. Kambiagi, can he deliver? Still Kambiagi. That's awkward, it's gone in. Kambiagi causing problems. And his cross caught the head of Alessandro Zanoli and it looped over Ochoa. Kandreva with the ball in, Weissman! It's a debut goal. And Seleni Tata a level. Nyong to give Empoli back the lead, very coolly slotted. And it looks like Empoli are on course for a big away win here. And Nyong can release Cancellieri, who's one of the quickest players in the league. Matteo Cancellieri away from Pirola. Cancellieri seals the points for Empoli. He didn't get his chance to convert the penalty, but from similar range, this one was slotted in to make sure of another Empoli victory. Luis Alberto for Ciro Immobile. And back for Felipe Anderson. This is Isaacson, and it's an own goal off Deola. Cagliari claiming handball, Lazio have the lead. Felipe Anderson. This is Isaacson and Immobile. It is the milestone he's been waiting for. 200 goals in Serie A for Ciro Immobile. Here is Gianluca Gaetano, and Cagliari have one immediately back. Gaetano on his full Cagliari debut has picked out the top corner. Vecino, nice counter this from Lazio. Felipe Anderson, they've got another goal. They re-establish their two-goal lead. And the ricochet, wrong-footed Scuffet, but it is Felipe Anderson who gives Lazio a big sigh of relief. Di Marco's ball again, that was Lukaku, then headed back across. And it's Francesco Acerbi, the former Lazio defender, but now one of the columns of the inter-defence, who gives the Nerazzurri the lead. Create a chance, dipping low, and the header from Mancini perfectly delivered, and it is the Roma defender to answer. El Sharawi off the bar, it's in. A magnificent goal as Roma have turned it around here against the league leaders. Barella wide open is Pavard. No, Darmian in and it's Marcus Duram. The Gialarossi get the Frenchman going. The winning goal at San Siro and the crucial leveller here just after the break. Lautaro Martinez into Di Marco. Mkhitaryan on side, near post! And it's Roma 2, Inter 3. Bastoni. Has all the time to finish. Alessandro Bastoni ends Daniele De Rossi's honeymoon with the fourth goal here for Inter. It finishes a convincing victory for the Nenazzurri. Go. 
Marcus Pedersen swings in the cross toward Pinamonti. Powerful header and Andrea Pinamonti has guided that one past Milinkovic Savic. In the absence of Domenico Berardi, is he the man to lift the pressure off the shoulders of Alessio Dionisi? Belanova's on the move. Belanova played through. Belanova with Zapata in the middle. Zapata's there to guide it home. And there's the equaliser. Minutes after falling behind, Torino a level. Icone drifts beyond Akoli. He's into the area. He's got support. And Bellotti scores his first goal for Fiorentina. Italiano gets his team selection right, puts Il Gallo at the point of the attack, and Andrea Bellotti pays him back with a goal. Duncan, they're looking rampant now, Fiorentina. Icone deflected, there's number two. It's a fast start from Fiorentina. Martinez Cuarta claiming the goal and it's been given. Makes it Fiorentina 3, Frosinone 0. Nice curling ball. But a call is two touches. Then Duncan. Nico Gonzalez produces the pick of the four. It is the Frosinone captain, and it's in. He scores his fifth goal of the season, his first on the road. It may just be a consolation. Unzola! And Barak's touch has got it across the line. His first goal in a year. It wasn't the cleanest, but it still makes it Fiorentina 5. Swung in by Orsolini towards Zigze on the volley. And then it's turned in from close range by Sam Berkema. He scored in the cup earlier this season. And now he grabs his first ever goal in the Italian top flight. Froila, Fabian, Posh. And now Orsolini, still going, Orsolini! Having survived a couple of scares, Bologna double their advantage. Still going, Calafiori, offloads, and then Orsolini! Only 49 minutes on the clock, but Orsolini has surely wrapped up the win. Sansone, this is Baschirotto caught in possession. Odgaard, a chance to mark his Bologna debut in style. A first ever goal in Serie A, a first ever goal in Rosso Blue colours. The Dane capitalising on Baschirotto's error. De Catalan starts his sprint through the middle. Bashalic picks out De Catalan. Lovely turn. What a finish. That is pure quality. Charles De Catalan opens the scoring and gets a round of applause from his coach. Now Malinovsky wants to get in on the act. Malinovsky hits one! Ruslan Malinovsky with a trademark finish draws Genoa level. Cop Miners hits one! 
That is quite incredible. The third world-class finish of this match. And Atalanta are back in front with their second shot on target. Players forward for Atalanta, Pashalic picks out the pass, Miranchuk one touch, Miranchuk, and then eventually the ball hit home by Zapacosta against one of his former clubs. He doesn't celebrate, but in the 10th minute of stoppage time, Atalanta have now got their two goal cushion and the three points seem to be safe. Pashalic once more, again picks out Miranchuk. Forced a wide cross and El Bilal makes it four. That is the icing on the cake for Atalanta. Two goals deep into stoppage time. And El Bilal gets off the mark with his first goal in Serie A. Leao, though, this time has picked out Toen, and yes! And in a flash, Milan take the lead. Toen Andes springs onto a piece of magic from Rafael Leao, and all of a sudden it's all smiles from Stefano Pioli and the Rossoneri. Samajic curled in, flicked on, and then poked in from close range by Lautaro Gianetti. Just his second ever match in Udinese colours and he gives the Friulani the lead in the backyard of Juventus.